to that command post that is at White Marsh Elementary where uh, Jen Fred has arrived. And you've been talking with folks, um, kind of getting the lay of the land there. Yeah, I think this was one of the things that you never planned for, especially on a summer Monday. Good morning. We have morning. Bridget and Mallory. And you said you got woken up by some guys who were wearing uniforms. Yeah? Yes. So how did all, how'd that go? Um, it was shocking to see at like 6 in the morning. But um, they knocked on the door. Yeah, they um, knocked on the door and it woke my parents and I up. And we went downstairs and the dogs were all rallied up, our two dogs. What did they say to you guys? Um, they said a train has derailed on the tracks right nearby and for like safety, um, they're evacuating two of the um, cul-de-sacs and to come here. She's got it uh, pretty good. Yeah, that's the you story. You must have been very scared. It was alarming, yes. Yeah. You're here with without shoes. Correct. Because they said get out now, and that's exactly what Correct. you did. Correct. Yep. Work phone, personal phone, and my kid. That's, that's There's it. other boys that typically are at your house, your son and his yes. friends. They were sleeping away. Correct. When you look up and you see these helicopters that are literally surrounding your neighborhood. Yes. What are you thinking now? I don't know. It's... I. I <laughs> I'm sort of like in a like giddy shock. Like I don't understand. It's scary. I'm just hoping everything's okay. I'm certainly glad that my sons were sleeping out and my husband's on his way into work. Yeah. And we're here. So we're following the rules and hoping for the best. When you look behind, you see there's plenty of gentlemen back there trying to figure out what is next. For you guys, where are you headed? I'm assuming you're not going to be here. They told no. you to come to this area? Yeah, so we checked in here. They just wanted accountability. Um, we'll tell them when we leave respectfully. We'll probably go to a friend's house or my mom lives in the area. So we'll find somewhere to go for the rest of the day. Just hope it doesn't take an entire day. And, you know, they're here trying to keep you safe, Correct. right? Because of the chemicals. Are you? It, it feels normal, but are you concerned there's something that we can't see or smell? I'm actually not. I feel like they're being very precautionary, which I appreciate. Um, I hope I'm not wrong, of course. Yeah. Okay. You're not scared? You feel safe? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You're happy you followed the rules and yeah. you're ready to go? Yeah. And yeah. The rule follower, yeah. for sure. No, over that's here. really good. And again, I do think, as we're, as we're beginning to see, they really are keeping everyone possibly yes. safe. Have you been able to speak with them in terms of when you might be able to go back I home? don't think anybody knows, but they've been very, like, gracious and comforting, and they're just, if they have the information, I think they'll give it to us. I just don't think they know much right How now. How many neighbors did you actually see? Like, did you see people evacuating with you guys? I believe only two cul-de-sacs had to evacuate. Ours, which is Elias Court in Camburn, um, and I've seen about five different neighbors. Okay. Some people did um, like different stuff. I know my friend um, across the street from us, she went to um, her friend's house because like it was her parents and her family and they just wanted to get out. They did tell you to come here to White Marsh Elementary? They did. Did Correct. they say if you'd be able to go inside or sit? We've there been inside. Okay. Yeah, they actually they've been lovely. They have an area for anybody to go sit inside, which we did sit inside for a little bit. Um, but now we'll probably actually go get gas and a coffee and come you're back. Just, you're more curious than anxious and scared at this point. Yes, I think yes. I'm not anxious and scared. I'm more curious, and I don't want to waste a whole day. Honestly, like driving around or without my belongings, like squatting at someone's no, house. I, I, do, I do believe that they are really trying to keep you guys safe, um, and I'm happy that you are safe. Yes. I'm sure we'll be talking to you guys throughout the morning. Yes, we'll be in and out of here. Um, but again, we're just happy we followed the rules. We appreciate the awareness and the protocol. The dogs, you left them there? Uh, my husband took the dogs to work. Okay, all right. <laughs> they I, would not do well with all this. They're yeah. two little cute Frenchies, but they'd be like probably all in a twist. All right. Well, again, I hope everything is okay. Thank you. I hope it's just a nuisance and it's not, you know, I know that they are looking. And we do have, guys, thank you very much. We do have the, the cameras up there in the chopper, so I think we'll be able to see exactly what is going on, um, obviously, in the next moments and hours and in the day to come. We'll be following Fox News to know, actually, in case someone else doesn't tell us. Thank you. <laughs>
Well, we certainly appreciate that. And quick response from the agencies as well. This happened about 5 o'clock this morning. Jen, thank you from the staging area there, White Marsh Elementary School, where residents are being told to evacuate to go to. So once again, this happened just about 5 o'clock. And as we saw from Sky Fox there a moment ago, we saw the number of cars derailed. Not an immediate response because they're still trying to assess the area. The hazmat teams are still trying to assess exactly what was inside those cars and just how safe it is to approach that area as we enter the level two. But we certainly learned something interesting about mm -hmm. how it was done when it comes to the evacuations. They mentioned someone knocked on their door yeah. and they were in such a rush, they left without their shoes. So it just shows kind of like the intensity of this situation yeah. where they want to make sure everyone is safe. You got to go now. We want to make sure that you go to White Marsh Elementary where we can stage everything and make sure folks are covered. So that just shows how quickly this happened and how things got moving. So we want to thank emergency responders for getting that information out yeah. and getting folks to what they consider a safe place while they try to figure out how to best and handle I'm this. sure for the homeowners, certainly a lot to process as well when yeah. someone knocks on your door and oh, says yes. the, uh, there was a train derailment and that you need to get out. Once again, this is a CSX train. 15 to 20 cars, as you see right there in the center of your screen, uh, have derailed right now. We understand that there is a hazardous material uh, inside those tanker trucks right there, and that is why there is a level two. This is beyond the initial response that they're able to handle. So this now goes to a state and federal level, the agencies that are responding to this. Once again, we're following the latest on this, the evacuations, the staging areas. As soon as we get additional word from authorities, we'll bring it to you and take you back to the scene along with uh, Jen and Shana, who's uh, at the intersection right now where they're telling residents to stay back.